I have here new 16 GB RAM version of Raspberry Pi 5 and I want to compare it with the old one 8 gigs and compare it with like other options many people will think like 16 GB of RAM is overkill but I don't think so so let's open it up I have only one try it says open here we're going to, going to rip this off it opens beautifully and here we have a 16 GB Raspberry Pi 5, yay! It looks pretty normal, like standard Raspberry Pi 5. Many people will ask, like, why do you actually need 16 GB of RAM? And my answer is for AI, robotics, more GBs, more fun. The more GBs you have, you can run more applications. And we're gonna compare it with NVIDIA Jitsun Super Orin, which recently got upgraded. I mean, it's not really, it's not really in hardware upgrade. Like this one is two years old and it's just a software update to Super, Super State. Uh, they essentially just overclocked it and that's how they got uh, I don't know, like 50% increase in uh, specs. Mm, but still, this one is 8 GBs and new Raspberry Pi is 16 GBs. So you might be wondering uh, what's the differences between them. This one cost uh, $249, previously it was like 500, and this one costs $120, mm, which is like the most expensive Pi 5 ever uh, produced. So, um, of course, Jetson is uh, good for AI, robotics, anything local, and Raspberry also too. Um, they recently released this Pi AI kit hat, which essentially sits on top of the Raspberry Pi. Let me get it up. So you're just gonna plug it like this, I guess, or this, I guess. I think it, it should be like this. So it will sit like this, and you plug it with PCIe cable that is attached here. Mm, also, Raspberry Pi 5 has this uh, NVMe base that you can also connect with PCIe. So now we get to like the details. It has PCIe and you can like plug it, uh, you can plug SSD with NVMe, that's true, but it will only get like 700 or 600 uh, megabytes per second. And this Jetson, while it's two year old hardware, it still has like the faster SSD. Uh, this one runs at like 3000, uh, which is way faster. Another thing is uh, the Raspberry Pi has built-in Wi-Fi, Jetson 2, but Jetson has like a M2 slot, which you can, and hopefully in future swap for either Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 6E, Wi-Fi 7, we'll see. The only problem here is like the drivers. Uh, they need to be compatible and for you, it shouldn't be like you, you need to compile stuff from source or anything like that. But they recently published uh, on a forum like a list of compatible uh, Wi-Fi chips. And on Raspberry Pi, it's not really an option to change it for anything else. So, when you kind of compare it, on one hand you have you have two hundred and forty nine dollars with great SSD, uh, swappable Wi Fi. On the other hand, you have sixteen gigs of RAM, which is more than eight, but like the Wi Fi is uh, soldered, and also you have to buy, you know, power supply, which with Jetson is included. And uh, if you want some kind of AI 
performance you need to buy separate uh, AI accelerator from what I understand uh, this AI accelerator is actually only usable for like small models, which is object detection, segmentation, pose estimation and stuff like that. And you can't really run any LLMs, VLMs, VLAs on it uh, because mm, there's a bottleneck with the PCI cable. It's just not so fast. You can't really use the 16 gigs. Uh, there will just bottleneck with the communication. and. Here, there is really no bottleneck, so you can use this with LLMs, VLAs, and so on, like large models. And the speed is okay-ish. Still, it's 8 GBs, so you can't really run 70B Llama and stuff like that. So that's it, I think, with this uh, comparison. Uh, next video, I would like to like compare, like either like object detection on this versus object detection on Jetson and also like power consumption because like when they did like super super Jetson Orin they overclocked it but they also increased power consumption so I would uh, really like to see like how how was the power consumption between these two and that's it thank you for watching uh, I don't think either of these two is actually a bad, bad buy uh, this one is a bit older but upgraded this one is newer maybe the last thing that i can think about is that nvidia don't really support uh the boards that much i have here my jetson nano og and they kind of dropped support for it so don't expect super super lengthy support for this orange 2 uh, i think mm, also like the nvidia is to my taste, kind of proprietary, while on this you can basically run any Ubuntu and drivers are open source, so you can run this for like 20 years until it breaks. With this, I wouldn't be so sure, so I think that's it. Uh, have a nice day, bye!